What do China, India, the Philippines, Tanzania, and Peru have in common? Well, they all have a rich agricultural heritage and are each the birthplace of important farming methods still used today. CCTV's Dan Collins visited Pano, Peru to see how one of these systems is being reborn. Lake Titicaca has been a population center for some 8,000 years. It was here the potato and the highly nutritious grain quinoa were first domesticated. Now those ancestral techniques are being revived and with a dash of modern technology, they're proving to be even more efficient and productive than current farming practices. It's called a sukakoyo or waru waru. It's a patterned system of raised cropland and water-filled trenches. These were first built more than 3,000 years ago by the Aymara people of the high plateau which straddles Peru and Bolivia. The great-grandfathers always used the sukakolo system and then at some point they stopped using it and now we are restarting it and bringing it up to date, men and women working together. Today, agronomist Alipio Kanawa is leading the restoration of this ancient farming system. Working with local villagers, he's restoring old ones and building new ones. It captures water when there are droughts and drains away water when there is too much rain. Meanwhile, it irrigates the crops all year round. The sukakoyo is designed to create its own microclimate. As climate change makes the Altiplano's harsh weather even more inclement and unpredictable, these maze-like fields could prevent devastating crop losses. Now we can't isolate just the fact that we're using waru warus or sukuklus. Uh, but we can say that be between the water management and the soil management and the uh, fertilizer management, organic fertilizer, that we are reaching uh, double, uh, double the harvest numbers. The Food and Agriculture Organization wants to prevent hunger. But the goal is also to give these farmers the chance to improve their incomes. And quinoa, this supremely nutritious Andean grain, could make this labor-intensive, complex farming system worthwhile. The ancestral crop has tripled in price due to international demand, giving a new value to the knowledge of the forefathers of these farmers. Dan Collins, CCTV, in Puno, southern Peru. And Phil, uh, multiple government sources in South Korea are saying that North Korea has moved one of their mid-range uh, missiles to the East Coast, so we'll keep our eye on that, but that's it for World News right now. Mike, thank you.